Hello and welcome to Zamora Gaming. I'm your host, Joe Zamora here, and I am bringing you the 2020 New England Patriot, New England Chartreuse, sorry, YouTube Draft Team. And you can see all the mods here on the screen here. And then, um, obviously, we'll be going over a little bit why I drafted them and all that. But just know, um, I did make two changes. Um, a little, uh, sorry. Cantonian Executor and Dustnor are no longer on the tape on the Chartreuse squad so you will see their replacements here soon so let's go ahead and continue and move on to our first pick of the draft we drafted Blastoise he will be nicknamed Leonardo from obviously uh, I don't know why I blanked there Ninja Turtles and we have two abilities we can play around with. We have the ability Torrent and Drain Dish. And uh, since we're going to be using this mainly defensively, we most likely will just pretty much use Rain Dish ability only. But you never know, Torrent could come in handy in some cases. And as you can see here with our beautiful Blastoise, it's going to be shiny for the season. His base stats, he has that nice 79 base HP, which isn't bad at all especially paired with its defenses that are over 100 then he has a okay 83 attack an okay 85 special attack and a poor speed of 78 but you know he got this new thing called shell smash ability or well, move and he can always double those at any time that he feels so he so chooses, paired it up with the white herb so his defenses do not go down. He can take multiple hits. He's bulky, he's powerful at that point. And you just never know. But we do plan on using him for rapid spin support, mainly because our next pick. And with our second pick of the draft, we got our mascot. We got the king of all fire types, Charizard. And Charizard will be shiny for the season with the nickname Undertaker. And we have two abilities to play with there as well. Most uh, most likely we'll be using solar power. But for the times we know we're going to have a tough battle and we don't want to lose unnecessary HP. We can always just use the blaze ability and just slap a life orb on it. And hope for the best there. But you never know. We'll just have to depend on how the battle seems to be going. And of course, uh, pre-game prep is very big in draft league, so I'll just have to make that decision before this, the game starts. But as you can see, we go to the base stats here, 78 HP, which is pretty decent. And then we go to the attack stat, which won't really matter much unless we decide to go belly drum. But, you know, that's kind of hard to get off. So it, I'd have to have like perfect, perfect, perfect... Uh, timing and strategy to get that off so maybe most likely won't bring it this season but you never know because that is a pretty sweet set that to run so I guess it's very situational and it'll just depend on our opponent as well and then we have uh, 78 defense which is okay again um, we're not really gonna be too worried about taking a hit we're gonna be more worried about giving the hit with our special attack stat of 109 and our speed stat of 100 and its ability to dynamax and get up that speed boost with max airstream so charizard is always a threat max mass coverage get slap an expert belt on there or whatever and that'll be good um of course you know if we do happen to not be able to control the hazards uh, heavy duty boots is always a good item as well and really charizard is only is our only rock weak uh, Pokemon here so hopefully people don't think rocks are too necessary and we can just uh, all-out attack with that baby right there but that is our second pick and as we move on we go to our third pick and for our third pick we got Lycanroc Dusk nicknamed Gnome Wolf it will also be shiny now my Pokemon will be shiny I'm just gonna make the shiny Pokemon that I really really like and the rest will be, you know, neutral colored. But, um, yeah. The ability Tough Claw is always amazing. Boosting that attack stat. Excel Rock. 
That's the main reason why I drafted it, because priority rock type move with what 50 base attack, tough claws boosted stab, and no matter what, it's always gonna go first. Yeah, and I couldn't have that flying around against us, because you know Charizard doesn't like that move very much. But as long as we utilize it on our side, we should be fine. <sighs> okay, here we go. And we move on to the base stats. Um, HP 75, attack 117, which is monstrous. And then with Tough Claws, it goes up. And Life Orb goes up. We can go Banded with that 110 speed. We can go... Uh, I don't think we really go Scarf much on this. But we can always go... Um, some kind of crazy sets. It is a stealth rocker, but it most likely won't be used as a stealth rocker. Um, but, you know, maybe we can get some false leads, scare people off, and get a stealth rock in. And um, he just learns a mass array of moves. He gets fighting moves to handle some steel types that would more or less be a problem for him. And most importantly though he does get brick break so he can break through those screens all his own and lay some massive attack on the opponents when needed and don't forget he does get much priority moves not only excel rock but he also gets that mighty sucker punch for you know just in case and a tough claws boost a sucker punch never hurts well us <laughs> but it will hurt our opponents and now we move on to our third pick so that was a tier one a tier two a tier two and now we got our tier three his name is Joltiar and he will be nicknamed Goddard from Jimmy Neutron and you know there's a there's two great abilities we can use uh, Volt Absorb which will help us with our electric community since uh, you know Charizard Blastoise really needs that and I mainly drafted this because I didn't want it to be used against us and you can go worse than you can't go worse well you can go worse than picking a Jolteon because Jolteon's just mighty it doesn't have the defense stats it might you might want but you know you can see that special defense is real decent and look at that attack and speed 110 attack 130 speed and as much as coverage it doesn't get, it does get decent coverage. It gets Signal Beam and Shadow Ball. Um, we can lead Volt Switch it. And so we have Volt Turns right there. And yeah, just Jolteon is an amazing Pokemon all around. And if we do get cheeky, we can go uh, Protect Quick Feet, go Modest, and just plow through teams that way too. So. You never know. Maybe we'll specs it. Maybe we won't. Life Orb always works as well. Mm, I'm just saying, Jolteon. I uh, could have made. I could have made a worse pick, but I mainly picked it to help the team, other than letting someone else use it to hurt the team. So we will move on to our tier four pick. Well, here's where it gets a little switched up. We dropped Executor Pokemon. I didn't really think I'd be bringing much this season for Chowder the Slurpuff. Of course, Chowder is the cartoon character, and that's who we named it after because he likes to eat. And his abilities we are having to work with are Sweet Veil and Unburden. And obviously, Unburden is going to be the only ability we're bringing on this boy all season long. That's it. He's gonna he's gonna pretty much wreck through teams as much as possible with very slim chances of helping us in the support department so expect that much expect that to happen a lot of the time but he does get access to sticky webs and he can help out defensively as well so that's always great but you know we got to have a fairy on this team because we got to worry about dragons and uh, dark types especially a bunch of dark types in this league but as we go over to the base stats, he does get HP of 82, which is decent. Attack of 80, which will be times 6 whenever we go Belly Drum, or plus 6. Then we have a decent defensive stat of 86. A special attack stat of 85, which I don't think we'll be using much of, but you never know. Maybe he can. we can run him a split set one week. 
and it could help out the team. It would just depend on our opponent and what they bring. Then we have a special defense stat of 75, which is pretty low, but I mean, it's better than none. And then we have our speed stat that are going to get doubled with the unburdened boost. So base 72, and we're going to make it look great whenever we play. And slurp buff is going to do. Um, ugh, sorry, I can't talk. I'm unscripted, so this is going to happen a lot. Now uh, slurp buff is just going to be able to run through teams and wreck house and. Help us get a bunch of wins, I'm sure. Next up, we have Lightbird. I'm going to call her Tease. And her abilities that we can work with are Limber, Unburden, and Prankster. Unburden is okay, but Prankster is what we really drafted her for. She's going to be T-waving people, tricking people, um, all kinds of things, really to help us with our support set. And it's going to work out, I'm pretty sure. And we'll catch a bunch of people sleeping with a nasty plot set if we choose to do that too. It just depends on what they bring again. And if I really feel like bringing the heat that week. Because we are going to bring the heat a couple of weeks, trust me. And it's not just going to be on Lightbird, it's going to be on a bunch of these mods. But as we go down, we have the HP stat, I think that's 64. Because it's really not that bulky. And... Uh, and you can see we can run it either physical or special with uh, the same 88 attack and special attack and obviously our defenses are horrendous but we do got decent speed so if we do decide to chip away we do have great uh, use of moves we have sucker punch u-turn and other moves of that sort I mean really those are really the only two moves you need to get uh, things going I think it gets parting shot but I could be wrong I don't think it does but if it does that could help out the team a lot as well but as you can see Lightbird is going to be mainly used as a support set and that's pretty much it on that uh, obviously not shiny but yeah it's a tease because tease is that team to are you really going to stay in or you want to leave because you're going to get thunder wave <laughs> And now we move on to our first free pick of the draft, Gudra. And we're going to nickname it Goober all the way throughout the season. And the abilities we have to work with are Sap Sipper, Hydration, and Gooey. So Sap Sipper is amazing because if we choose to run it physically, we can switch it on a grass type move and pretty much wreck house with a plus one attack stat. And you never know someone drafted a Venusaur and that's always something to be wary of but I think Gudra can deal with that with an amazing 150 special defense so grass types beware and then hydration is always great because uh, people can't really toxic stall us because we can heal in the rain so if we choose to bring a rain dance set then we'll be peachy but yeah but mainly we would most likely want to use this Pokemon as a special attacker with the extra 10 base points that would really help but you know you never know what we could bring with this bond so we do have the base stats here of the HP 90 attack 100 defense 70 which is okay but you know the HP stat helps out with that then we have special attack of 110 special defense of 150 which is monstrous and then we have a speed stat of 80, which isn't bad for a bulky mod. So if we can get sticky webs up, it pretty much bo boosts it to 100 base speed. And then Gudra could really get some uh, damage going there. But yeah, Gudra is just pretty much all around great Pokemon. It gets great special attacks, such as Muddy Water, Ice Beam, Flamethrower. And then it also gets great moves on the offensive side, uh, well, physically offensive side with Power Whip, Dragon Tail, and other moves of that sort to, you know, really keep the really keep the other team guessing. So, it's always good to have that. And Gujar is a great addition to my team. I have been yet to use it, so it's going to be a fun one. I, I'm pretty sure. I faced it enough times to know it's a threat. Now, we move on to our second free pick, Rhyperior, who will be War Machine. And its abilities are Lightning Rod, Solid Rock, ugh, Lightning Rod, Solid Rock, ugh, Solid Rock, 
and reckless. I cannot talk right now. But yes, War Machine. He will be shiny for the draft. And, I mean, why wouldn't you pick this mod? It's as, especially as a second free pick, it's still there. And um, actually, someone picked Rhydon before it. So, that was a pretty interesting pick. And he actually dropped Rhydon for Espeon. So, um, I guess he didn't see the worth of Rhydon. But Rhyperior here has plenty of worth. Solid rock ability to uh, make special super. Ugh. Solid rock ability to make super effective moves. Uh, neutral, basically. And then Lightning Rock is really useless for us because he's already immune to electric. But then Reckless, uh, we can do double edge and Reckless and just run house. Especially if we get a uh, rock polish up first, and we pretty much outspeed most people's teams there. So, you can be a pretty dangerous mon in that respect. But we go move on to the base stats uh, HP 115, attack 140, monster, defense 130, very monstrous there as well. And then a special attack of 55, special defense of 55, which clearly gets boosted by solid rock and the HP. And then the speed set of 40, which is not bad because mainly we're going to be using this as a stealth rocker. But, of course, Rhyperior with the weakness policy set or AV set can really get teams going uh, over the hills, running from him because he's a scary, scary mod. And he is n he's not taking prisoners. He's killing everything in sight. But yeah, that's pretty much... All I have to say about Rhyperior, because there's not really much else to say. He's a monster, and he can get reliable stealth rocks up. <sighs> it's just not fair, but we have him, so we're okay with it. Alright, next up, we have Toxicroak, nicknamed Dart, because it's based off a of Dart Frog, and I couldn't really get too creative with the nickname, because I wasn't really sure what the hell to call it. But he is another replacement for our team. He uh, replaced Dusknoir. Of course, Dusknoir is a good Pokemon in its own right, but I did not really feel I needed a Ghost type. And two, it was more of a pressure pick. It was just what can I pick up right now to keep this draft moving. And luckily, I was able to trade it out for Toxic Rook later. And the main reasons is because of the abilities it has. Anticipations and eh, dry skin is amazing and poison touch can be very useful in crunch time situations. But dry skin is an amazing thing because there's a lot of waters in this draft and they are detrimental to anything we want to do, especially with our Charizard Lycan Rock and Rhyperior. So I mean we do have an answer in Jolteon, but you know, we don't have a water resist. We didn't have a water resist. So now that we do with dry skin, that's going to be an amazing plus to our team and going to give uh, other coaches really something to look out for because uh, Toxic Croak is going to be a problem. With the HP stat of 83, which is not bad at all, it can be pretty bulky. And then we have an attack stat of 106, which is great. And we get a sucker punch, and poison punch, or oh, poison jab. You know, all these kind of fighting type moves as well with close combat and drain punch, which helps its viability and livability with its HP and decent defenses, well, poor defenses, but HP, you know, that's really going to help us out. And then, I think it gets Swords Dance, but I'm not 100% sure, but I I know for a fact it does get Power Up Punch, so we can always boost attack that way. And then we move on to defensive stats, which are around 65, which isn't great, but you know, maybe we can put in, uh, find a, a good AV set for it, and it can help out that way, but we really gotta watch out for psychic types, because I don't believe we have a dark type on this team, but you know, we, we can work our ways around that. And yeah, that's pretty much it, with the special attack stat of 86, and it does get nasty plot we can possibly run a special set as well um, get priority vacuum wave and s stuff of that nature so toxic croak is by no means a pushover it can surprise a po uh, an opponent in many ways and that's what we're really going for we want a team that's versatile and can 
knock people off their rocker and at the same time just have that wow factor to surprise them at the end but you know uh, 85 base step, base speed is not bad at all either especially if we get sticky webs up it gets that ba basically 105 speed set and, and that's out running pretty much everything on an opponent's team so yeah toxic Rogue dart he's gonna be an amazing addition to the team and just look at how mean he is he's ready to kill somebody and then we move on to our last pick which is probably the most vicious looking of them all Berserker, nicknamed Odin because he is a Viking cat and Odin is a great Viking name and that's pretty much all I have to say on that one but yes we have abilities to work with battle armor which I don't remember what it does but probably won't be using it too much uh, I know it beefs up its defense a little bit but uh, our defense is a hundred so we're fine there tough claws is most likely what we'll be using because tough claws why wouldn't you use it it's better than steely spirit steely spirit only boosts your, your still tight moves when tough claws boost them all and that's pretty much what we want preserker to do it's a freaking wall breaker it's slow and it's defensively bulky and it can pretty much wreck through anything it could probably i think it two hit ko's a snorlax max defensive snorlax so that's pretty cool <laughs> um, again we it's a special defense and special attacking there but that's not really what we need it for we have special defensive mines for that so we'll be pretty good in that aspect but HP of 70 attack of 110 and defense of 100 that pretty much puts that bulkiness way up where we want it and he will be a great fit to the team <sighs> all right guys well that's pretty much it for this video thank you for watching if you have any comments about the team go ahead and comment down below in the comments and let me know what you think and i will see you guys at week one